Oh, I'm crossing my fingers and holding my breath this time, guys. Hey, welcome back to Skyrim. I'm not really sure if I'll be able to ever record this ever again, considering the last ten crashes I had. But <sighs> we're gonna attempt to do so. Anyway, uh, today we're going to start doing the Thieves Guild. Because, uh, apparently the new expansion's coming out in ten days. And I really wanted to get the Thieves Guild done before I did another expansion. So we're going to go through that. And I've done it before because I had it done in my Dark Brotherhood episodes. But it should be go fun to go through again. Um, I'm also starting to run into another problem where my save file is getting a little bit too big. Because I've done a lot in this game so far. So I had to turn the graphics down a little bit. But it shouldn't bother too much. You. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Oh... Let's see here. Here's a letter from the Jarl Stewart. Looks like official business. Okay. Uh, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage in Riften. She asked me to hand out these notices to everyone I met. Okay. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Wait, another one? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay. Let me... I don't want to read these. Oh, I can't... It's been so long since I played, I can't even remember the menus. Okay, let me just go through my inventory really quick. Uh, conserve adoption. <laughs> oh, this is, um, I installed Hearthfire, too. So that's for Hearthfire. I can adopt a kid or something. We're not gonna, we're not gonna screw with that right now. Um, I'm gonna make sure, I think I've been collecting a lot of skill books that I actually haven't read. So we're just gonna look at all these skill books really quick. Yeah. That's what I thought. Someone noted me about that. We got our archery up to 75 from that, so that's pretty good. But here in Riften, we are going to be looking for a way to get into the Thieves' Guild, which is stationed here in Riften, obviously. Um, I don't remember where the chain actually... You've never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying. Oh, actually, it starts right here. Done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin. That was convenient. Hey, lad. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. What? I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. No, I'm sure my dark brotherhood armor doesn't give it away, and my crazy jester's hat, and my glowing crossbow enchanted with like health sucking. How could you possibly know that? It's all about sizing up your mark. Like that was sarcasm. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Great. Well, my wealth is really none of your business. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. Uh, more money? Well, okay, if you're offering. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Ooh. Okay, well what do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Bran Shea's pocket without him noticing. Hmm. Okay, so why do you want me to plant the ring on this guy? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. Awesome. I like that little smile you're giving me, Brynjolf. Um, let's get started. Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. I'm made of awesomeness. Everyone, okay, let's see. Uh, where's Medesi? Okay, that's Medesi. So this is his stall. Alright. We're hidden. Let's try to pick the lock on this thing. Ooh. Ooh. A little to the left. Oh, no, a little to the right. Ah, crap. I'm already breaking lockpicks. That's not good. I guess the Thieves Guild might be very helpful for me. I need to put some more points into lockpicking or something. There we go. And let's steal from his lockbox. Like, so oh, shh. Hmm. I thought I had it that time. There we go. 
some gold and a silver ring. This way, everyone. Over here. Okay. Come on, Brynjolf. What is it this time? <laughs> this is a rare opportunity. Ooh. I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the wisp essence. Let me save the game before I pick pocketed this guy. All these are chance based, so like you can never really be sure if it's gonna land successfully. Like well, let's look here. It's an 83% chance to place, but it can still mess up. And we're good. Be crushed well, root mixed with my time Don't even think about it. No, I wasn't thinking about anything. Mm -hmm. What a waste of time. Damn. I knew I shouldn't have waited. <laughs> he didn't see anything. <laughs> Could I interest you in some fine goods from Morrowind? <gasps> Looks like I chose the right person for the job. Have anything you wish to sell? Looks like I chose the right person for the job. No, no, Brynjolf. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. <laughs> the way things have been going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Yeah, so what's been going on? Yeah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck, but I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. Oh! If you think you can handle it. Oh yeah, I can handle it. All right then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece. And we'll see if you really got what it takes. Awesome. Now, normally we're gonna have to clear a lot of things out. This is unfair. Oh, I'm innocent. So, oh. We we would have to clear a lot of things out to get to the ragged flagon, but as it turns out. What is it with you and all these questions? Very well. Ask away. I have a question. Can I put this basket on your head? Sorry. Don't place it. What is it with you and all these questions? Very well. Uh, Ask away. Uh, oh, yeah! Oh. Oh no, he's getting arrested. We have to. We have to help him. I can put this basket on his head, and he won't see anything. Ah, oh, crap. We can do this one of two ways. You can walk with me to the keep, or I can drag your lifeless body. Stop looking at me! Stop it! I will basket you. The old told me that it isn't this bad everywhere. Maybe one day I'll venture out and see if she's right. Dang it! Why are these people running from me? You know what? For selling jewelry and being a jerk, I'm just going to put this on your head instead. Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? Eh, 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 eh. Aw, eh. Come on. Get on. Yeah! Yeah! If anything, please don't hesitate to make me an offer. Talk to me. If you have any jewelry to sell, I'd be glad to pay you a fair sum in gold for What do you have for sale? Just what you see here. Okay. Uh, a log pick! I will take that. <laughs> oh my god, he's got so many log picks. I'll take all of them. Yeah. I don't know why he has so many of those, but... Why do you have that? Oh, I have that. Oh, I sold him all my lockpicks. No, I need these. Ah, oh, that was stupid. Why did I do that? Okay, never mind. Bye, basket. Safe travels, Landstrike. Anyway, that was stupid. Um, let's go to the ragged flagon. A bucket. I will take this for later. We will have a use for that in the future, hopefully. Blobbles? Whoa! Anyway, like I said earlier, we've uh, been down here before, and I've already killed all these people. I'm pretty sure we've been down here, like, twice over the last uh, hundred or so videos. <laughs> I've actually put out a lot of Skyrim videos. I noticed that the other day. This file has been going on for a while. I mean, like, the Dark Brotherhood wasn't part of it, but it's still pretty big, regardless. And I still have the Dark Brotherhood done, so I've done a lot on this character. Somehow I'm only level 27, but um, I guess them's the brakes. Here's the Ragavagon. The Ragavagon. Give it up, Brynjolf. 
Sergio. Those days are over. Hi. Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Um, getting here was easy. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Deadbeats? What'd they do? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. Oh, deadbeats. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. So you want me to do some hustling? Every day I'm hustling. Okay, um, sounds good. Kirava, Bursi Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Awesome! How do you want me to handle it? Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Consider it done. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. Okay. Uh, do you have any tips about Kirava? Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Talon J at the B and Barb and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. Ooh, they're having the Argonian babies, probably. Uh, any help with Brucey? He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. Nice. What about Helga? Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage and she'll cave. Awesome. I'll be here when you're done. Cool. It's troll slang. All these books. I'm gonna have to come in here Stay and get some of them. Or there's gonna be trouble. Is that a mud crab on a plank? Well, okay. I'm not sure why you would bother framing that, but whatever. So let's go up back into Riften and do some hardcore hustling. Of poor and innocent people. Sounds like fun. Yay, the bee barb! Let's go inside the bee barb. My skill in battle is unmatched. Fortunately for you, that skill can be bought. Oh, he's a mercenary. He's a mercenary named Mark. That's weird. What do you want? Oh, you're the dude. How did you meet Karava? Da da da. Da da da. Da 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 da. Uh, talk some sense into your wife. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Then help me convince her to pay. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. Okay. That's pretty good. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Hi, lady. Here for a room or something to drink? Pay up! Some no, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. Maybe I should visit that farm in Morrowind. How could you possibly know about- I have eyes everywhere! My family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Then pay up. Urgh. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. <laughs> that was fun. Let's do it again! I think the next place is right here. The Pond Prawn. The Prawn Pawn. Something, something, something. Hi. So, can I interest you in anything today? I have a message from Britain, Oh, What? Oh, it's one of you people. 
So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? You don't pay, bad things happen. Petty threats and fist-waving are not going to sway me. You people are all talk. And everyone knows it. Oh. You demand payment for protection. And you can't even protect yourselves. We well, you can protect ourselves, trust me. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. Oh, I've had enough of this. Likewise. Now I have a lot to do, so I'm afraid you'll just have to leave. Da. <laughs> oh, this is a nice little vase you've got here. It would be a shame if something were to happen to it. Sneak attack the vase! Stop! Oh my word. <laughs> No! I'm going to break it! Oh my word. I'm breaking it! Oh! Look at all that broken glass! Oh, it fell apart like last week's chili! Ha 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 ha! No! That urn was priceless! You want me to break anything else? Alright, <laughs> I'll pay on time from now on. <laughs> Just don't smash anything else. Here, take your gold. And leave me in peace. <laughs> I was looking through our books, and there's an entry for spices. It says we spent 300 septims. What is that? Spices? I'm certain I have no idea what you're talking about. You sure? It was in your handwriting. If you can't keep the books straight, then let me do them. Ah, yes. Oh, spices. That was a special order for someone in Whiterun. Should be along any day now. Don't let it worry you, my dear. Spices. My husband, Bercy, will be the death of me. Oh, he spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough about himself. Spices. All the crime and corruption in Riften is really getting to him. Okay. Now that we... Okay. I hear Spice and I'm like, are we playing Old Republic right now? Are you guys, like, doing the meth? Whoa, God. What the hell? That was weird. Anyway, uh, we need to go over here. Yes. Helga's Bunkhouse. Helga's Bunkhouse. With Helga. Hi. Now I'm gonna even bother asking you first. I'm gonna ninja this thing. Whoop. Hi. It's you. Please, don't hurt me. Ha ha ha. So should I drop the statue down a well? Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. I hope you choke on your statue. <laughs> Being mean to people is fun. <laughs> ha! That was interesting. Anyway, um... All of our hustling is done, so let's go back to bring you off and tell him we're amazing. We're back. Where's the bring you off? I'm not here to hold your hand. Figure this one out for yourself. No, no, no. Come back later, but I may have some work. Where the hell do you go? Where is he? Oh, this is a face changer, by the way. She changes faces. They added her in one of the content patches, I think. Dude, where? Hold on. Oh, I walked right past him. There you are. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Here's what they owed us. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Yeah, here's the, the Otis. Well done. Yes. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Money. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. What? Oh, money. Oh, health potions. Ooh. What's next, then? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. If there's more gold where that came from, I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Before we go, I have to ask. What's on your mind? Where does your outfit isn't doing too well? Is this true? 
We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Fair enough? Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? Oh. Yes. Show After you me. talk to Brynjolf and Mercer, come back and see me. Yes, ma'am. I'm getting in with these people already. This is pretty awesome. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Do 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 do. Oh, the inner confines of the thieves' guild. <laughs> Let me show you the operation, then you can ask your question. Okay, go. I'm right behind you. I'm going to kill you. No, I'm just kidding. Go. Go! Go! Jesus. Stopping and staring at me every five seconds. 